What are we even doing here? Well, I thought it was gonna be, you know, a while before I started getting uh, unsolicited packages. You know, I thought maybe you get 10,000 subscribers, then people start sending you stuff in the mail, but nope, it's already happening. <laughs> uh, my dude, Justin, sent me this box. If you look at it, it's great. It's got little sardine stickers on it. It even says, uh, what are we even doing here on it, you know? So let's just see what happens. Let's see what he sent me. Oh yeah. Here we go. We've got Goya brand sardines in hot tomato sauce. And then I've got ones that are in salsa de tomate. Is that the same thing? I don't know. We've got also a baseball card. And the player is called Ramon Pena. That is so good. That is really, really, really good. Justin says, uh, you revealed your address in one of your catalog videos. Ah, there we go. Uh, I thought Justin maybe was like a PI or something. Okay, so anyway, here's some interesting stuff for you to try. My wife is Colombian, so we eat a ton of Goya products. I grabbed a bunch of these Dini Boys last time we went to Market Basket. I guess that's a grocery store or something. Premium Goya Deans are from Spain. Oh yeah, that's what he's talking about here. Premium Goya Deans while the other two are from Thailand. And these are 69 cents a piece. So we're gonna see what some 69 cent can of sardines are gonna taste like. I wonder, will the premium Goya brand Spanish sardines stand up to the fancy Spanish brands like Ramon Pena? Ugh. Oh, so as he got me a box of Ramon Pena's here. Oh my goodness. Well, thanks Justin. I'm just gonna try the Goyas today. These will be their own video because, because I make the rules. First up, we got a box. A uh, box is a good sign. And um, these are gonna be in spicy oil. And like fancy sardines, they put the text of whatever like country they come from, like the language, you know, on one side, and then they put it in English on the other side. So I know that these are wild caught, spicy oil sardines. Fantastic. Uh, normal looking can here. Crack her open. Okay, already looking good. Uh, they don't look too scaly, which is uh, good. Looks like we got a little bit of the skin that's kind of come off here. Um, that one kind of broke apart a little easily, but let's look, look what's going on. Oh yeah, coming apart. I don't know. Yeah, what do we got? Ooh, this oil looks good though. I don't know, got a little spine here. Nice spine action. <laughs> Hey, yeah, that's all right. Uh, shit, these are pretty good. We eat a lot of uh, Goya beans in our house, you know, when we make chili and stuff. I never thought about their sardines. I thought, uh, maybe, maybe I'm not gonna go tin fish from Goya. They're all right. It's an American brand. Don't be rude. You know what? Put that out of your mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because life's no, tough no, as it no, is. No, no. We're just gonna go right in to the next tin. Goya tinapa sardines. I don't know what tinapa means. And salsa de tomate picante. And hot tomato sauce. Okay, so I think the hot tomato sauce is gonna be the key to making this work for a can of 69 cent sardines. 
Or maybe people in Thailand are just living it up and they have incredible cheap sardines. Okay, already open up. First of all, this is the first time I've had sardines in this form factor, like kind of a tall skinny can. So that's exciting. We've got sort of a soupy, this sort of looks like cold Campbell's tomato soup coming out of here. I'm not gonna hold the consistency against it. I mean, it is what it is. I don't get too much spice. Actually, these um, the premium ones were a little spicier. Okay, these look like Pacific sardines, I guess. That's what I call them. They've got this telltale curvature that they tend to acquire uh, either in the process or this is just how they go dead, you know? All right, you know what? That actually exceeded my expectations. Yeah, they're a, they're a little on the fishy side and it's almost like I'm eating kind of 69 cent sardines out of a tiny can of uh, Campbell's tomato soup. That's spicy for some reason. Yeah, they're a little on the mushy side. Actually, what's, what's kind of tanking these is, is the uh, tomato sauce. And I don't know, you put these in a sandwich with like some arugula or some onions or something, uh, give them something to bounce off of, and they might be just fine. Let's see, let's uh, <clears throat> dissect one of these guys here. We haven't done that yet. I'm just gonna have to get in here. And... Okay, so we got nice rigid spine, nice snap. Pretty looking flesh on the inside. I mean, it's a freaking miracle that you pay individuals to fish these out of the ocean. They can them up, somebody ships them, some guy puts them on the shelf over at Market Basket, and all that whole process happens for 69 cents. And say what you will about globalization, it's a freaking force of nature. On to the next can. Here we got. Goya Tanapa sardines in tomato sauce. Okay, so this is gonna be, I guess, kind of a straight tomato sauce uh, that's not supposed to be spicy. So I'm expecting something kind of similar. The last can, not super spicy, but the spice kind of, how do you call it? Kind of, you know, every sardine sort of let the spice ride a little harder, so. We're looking at basically the same look on the inside here. You can see it's kind of a gooey uh, sauce. This is basically gonna be a consistency check for these Goya Deans, you know? Yeah, the curved bodies, sure, sure. Basically, this is the same. I'll tell you what, okay, here's the whole one. These first two came out kind of pre-bisected. They were kind of weenies, you know? Uh, this one is very similar to what we had in the first can. I'm kind of getting used to that sauce. I don't think the sauce is too much different. This is a little spicier. I would assume that I would like the spicier one better because just spice makes everything better if you know, you're kind of in something that's a little blah for you. But um, I'm pretty much acclimated to anything that I thought was funny about this tomato sauce. Let me just try uh, one of our original premiums here. Oh. Now you're back to Dean land. Um, with these Spanish ones. 
And I, I think it might just be the presentation. This oil is a little spicier, and this is tomato sauce. These, I think if you presented them this way, you would get kind of close to the same effect. Oh, I really didn't want to eat them all. Oh well, whatever. I'm gonna save the rest of these guys for later. Maybe I'll make my, uh, my wife eat them, huh? Well, Goya, huh? Goya. I mean, I usually let the price be my guide and I would be concerned about some 69 cent sardines, but these were okay. They're totally, uh, you know, part of your complete breakfast. These guys for $2.19, they're super. All right, I wanna thank my boy Justin for sending these out to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's so nice. And uh, we're gonna make our way into some other uh, uh, gifts that I've received. I got a couple of friends gave me some sardines. My father-in-law sent me some sardines. So we got some work to do. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.